when the inhabitants of Harpers Island weren't running around screaming. <laughs> they needed a place to chill out and have a drink at the cannery. <laughs> In real life, it's based on Bowen Island and is the Canadian Legion. A lot of bloodshed here in this location. A lot of it happening outside. Uh, I some took of the a bullet, scenes, didn't you, I, about you here? You did. You took a bullet this right here with salt. And this is also the spot, actually, right about here where we're standing, where Jimmy was thrown off the sheriff's vehicle right. and uh, pretty much left for dead. Obviously, the Royal Canadian Legion sign was down, the Canadian flag was taken away, but there was a boat sitting out here. You put a massive sign up saying the cannery, didn't you? put you? a huge, massive sign up. Is it two or three deaths it actually happened in there? Well, let's go check it out. Let's have a look. Yeah. Is there still blood? A little bit. So here we are at the bar. Interior cannery, if you will. Uh, a lot of memorable moments. For example, in the first episode, uh, JD and Shane had a bar fight right here by a jukebox. Yeah. <laughs> and the locals of Bowen Island's Canadian Legion actually got to feature in the show as extras. Uh, a lot of the action happened here in our Legion, and uh, that was the scenes that I was most involved in. Where is he? Oh, there he is. One of the highlights for me was when they were doing the, uh, the scene with the throwing of the ring. How could you? After everything that I've done for you, this is how you repay me? And then Chloe right there gives the guy a good... How many takes? That guy probably got slapped about 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> he had one side of his face was just throbbing. He took it pretty well. That's right. How could you? Where are you going? I'm going home. He didn't touch Nicky. He won't touch me. <laughs> That's what you think. The cannery was also the location for Maggie's little accident. <laughs> With the character's realisation that the island wasn't the safest place to be, duh, suspicion began to fall on one man. I need to talk to you. Are you lying about Wakefield? The sheriff didn't hurt me. It was just a game. Sheriff drives in here in his big old truck with the lights blazing. It's maximum effect. The dude's having fun. It's a game. He wants you, Abby. But the killer's latest murder cleared the sheriff of all suspicion and was the cruelest of them all. While that scene was really dramatic, it was more the scene between Abby and her dad. John Wakefield is dead. You killed him, remember? I shot him. But I never found his body. I buried someone else. Why should I believe anything you say? Because this is a trap. I'm a trap. You have to leave. No. I'm not a little girl anymore. You can't just send me away. Don't come near me! It took me a couple of days to recover after that scene because um, I didn't really sleep well that night. You know, because you, you put yourself through an emotional roller coaster. That was probably one of the most amazing displays of acting that I had witnessed as a producer between two actors. I was pleased to get one of the more colorful exits. We shot the dramatic discussion between father and daughter uh, right up until the moment that uh, I got yanked and then uh, my faithful stuntman stepped in and, and uh, took the exit out the window. I love you so much! We shot that in one take. We had four cameras rolling, three inside, one outside, and uh, got it all in one take. It was a really good day. Really good day. The sheriff's death led us to a shocking revelation, and after ten episodes and countless red herrings, we came face to face with the killer himself. Wakefield. Wakefield. John Wakefield. John Wakefield. John Wakefield. Wakefield. John Wakefield. John Wakefield. John Wakefield. John Wakefield. John Wakefield. Sorry, who was that? That bastard John Wakefield. John Wakefield is a bad, bad man. <laughs> you look just like your mother. When we reveal Wakefield, that's when everything is amped up and they're really running for their lives. So all the clues have led us to John Wakefield, but I have a feeling that Harper's Island has a few more twists and turns for us yet. Case unsolved. My reaction was, wow, okay, so, but it's surprising 
but there also there has to be more. There has to be more to this story. It's too early. There's still three episodes to go. <laughs> you know? Mommy, he's here! We're now with the monster as he goes through. You get to watch the hunter um, for a while uh, instead of just always seeing the hunted. It is the first big breadcrumb that leading to the ultimate answer. We've seen our friends get picked off one by one. Who's to say, I'm not next? It's a game of survival. One by one. People died. Violently. Horribly. Viciously. And soon, very soon, we will all discover why. Why? 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 One by one. Next on BBC Three, armed with all the behind-the-scenes gossip, get bang up to date with all the latest twists and turns as we're back on Harper's Island for a brand new episode. <laughs>